Hey everybody, Flaming Rooster Barbecue here. Today we're going to do something that you really need to be doing about once a year at a minimum on your Big Green Egg or Komodo Joe, which is a high heat burn off. And a high heat burn off, what it does is it really cleans out not only the dome of your ceramic cooker, but also the inside and the guts of it and underneath, which provides maximum airflow as if you've had this thing for a while you understand that airflow is key for these bad boys so if you get a bunch of resin in there and a bunch of gook and grease and uh, you know leftover stuff from brisket and barbecue and cooking all the time it's going to start to cake to the walls into the place setter and to everywhere else in the in the firing inside and it's going to prevent airflow so you guys are going to be really impressed but i have not done it in probably a year and a half and this bad boy, that place setter is looking good. I mean, that, that is some character right there. And then look at the walls of this thing. It's just black, and you can just see the uh, that layer. But here's the most impressive piece. Look at the dome of this bad boy. That is dirty. And it almost gets to a point where it's just, uh, you know, it's just disgusting. And it's time to, time to burn that off. And you could clean it with a cleaner. But why would you want to do that? Let's have a little fun and let's fire up the let's fire up the grill. So, like I said, you want to do this about once a year. It depends really on how much you cook on the thing. Um, but here, let me show you how we're going to do this first. And I will warn you, it's going to more than likely going to ruin your gasket. So it's going to burn your gasket off, um, especially if it's loose. You'll notice mine's loose back there. This thing's due anyway, so I don't really care. But I, I will warn you, that's going to happen. So. Uh, the newer Komodo Joes, you don't have to worry about that. It's not going to burn off, but all these big green eggs, you're going to have to replace it. So let's get started. All right, so with my high heat cook-off here, um, I'm not going to keep the place setter in. I'm going to do that on a, on a second round. The issue with keeping the place setter in, it's a great way to clean the place setter as well. The issue is, is you don't get the dome as clean, um, not nearly as clean as if you leave this in. But I'm going to do another one where I'm going to do the same process. And I'm going to put this thing feet up, and I'm going to do another burn off, and it'll clean that place setter uh, with no problem. But, you know, just like any high, high temp cooks you want for steaks or whatever you're doing, you're going to want high heat for this. So I make sure I clean this thing out really good before. Some people like to do the burn off at the end of a cook. Um, if your grills, if, if your egg or your Komodo Joe is really clean and you want to do it at the end of the cook and not waste uh, charcoal, more power to you. Mine's actually pretty, uh, pretty, pretty dirty right now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to move all this around and that charcoal is going to be good. I'm going to use that charcoal and then I'm going to add a little, just a little bit more fresh charcoal. Basically, I'm going to do what, what I'm going to do is what you should do every time before a, before a cook um, is get, you know, move it all around. And you see those holes down there. You want to you want to let all these little pieces fall down to the bottom. And then we're going to clean out the top. Or, I'm sorry, we're going to clean out the bottom vent and make sure that we got plenty of airflow when we do this burn off. All right, so now I'm going to clean the bottom down here. And I've got this sitting on this ledge. Usually what I do is I get some cardboard here and I got a bucket right underneath. And I'll just get this and I'll just do this a couple times, but just clean this out. And some people, you know, prefer to use a vacuum or shop back or whatever you want. Use whatever you want. I find this the easiest and the less mess, but make sure this is very clean before we start this thing cooking and get it really hot. All right, now we've got the ceramic cooker all cleaned out and you want to just do a setup just like you're gonna do a high temp cook so I used to get a fire stick put it on that side and I'm gonna get another one put it on the other side you'll see I got about half of this fire ring filled up with charcoal uh, you don't want to do too much but you also don't want to do too little because you don't want it to thing burn off you're gonna light this and you're gonna let this burn off until all that charcoal is gone and we're gonna just open this bad boy up all the way, just like you were doing if you're trying to get it as hot as you can get it for steaks. That's what we're gonna do here. So if you put too little charcoal in there, yeah, it's gonna get real hot, but it's not gonna burn long enough. So we wanna put about a half a fire ring. I'm gonna keep this like this, open like this for about 10 minutes. And then afterwards, I'm gonna close it down, the lid down at least. All right, so this thing's been going about, I let it go about 15 minutes. And it's hot so all I'm gonna do I'm closing it down so closing it down lid completely open 
vent at the bottom completely open and that's it I'm gonna keep it like this it's gonna last as long as that charcoal lasts it could be two to three hours but it'll take a while but I'll show you it's gonna start cranking some black smoke out of this thing burning that off and really that's it you're gonna be amazed when I open this thing up and I will warn you do not open it once it really gets going in there um, unless you want to get rid of your eyebrows for whatever reason but it will flare up on you so fast so once this thing gets going in about 10 more minutes I'm, I'm not gonna open it up um, but again look at the dome and then we'll see what it looks like afterwards all right it's been about 30 minutes we got a pretty steady flow of air I could tell it's really not burning off yet because that's still a clear clearish white smoke it'll it'll turn this brown uh, smoke start barreling out thermometer says 600 I don't rely on this thermometer and as a note if you do rely on this thermometer and you use it I recommend removing it before this process because you could burn this thing up but I use a, a internal grill temp thermometer but uh, definitely do that but it's going about 30 minutes this is just as planned it's it's smoking you can see inside it's it's going really good if you look down the top but um, I'm just gonna let this thing keep cranking all right, so the burn off is complete. As you can see, that bottom vent is open, top still up, completely cooled down now. And you could see what a difference. I mean, that thing was black. Not only was it black, but if you let it go too long, these holes down here will get clogged, and that'll really prevent airflow down here in the fire ring. Um, but you could see, I mean, it's white. It's almost back to, to normal color. So what I like to do now is just get, get your tool it could be any tool, but get in there and just clean it up a little bit more. You know, get all this, there's going to be some ash in there. Get that off. And if you want to look at the dome, I mean, it's still black, but all that good, my goodness, the, you know, the goop on there. And you'll see, like, you still got some, some ash in there. Let's go in there and clean it up. Knock it off. And it'll be good to go, but, and, and like the gasket just got destroyed back there on the back, so I got had to replace that anyway, so be expecting that. Uh, it's actually, you know, it's just burned up all the way around, um, so you're going to have to replace that, but that's how you do it, and like I said, you want to do this, depends how much you use your, your egg or Komodo Joe, um, but if you use it quite a bit, you know, you might need to do this twice a year. I do it about once a year, and I use mine probably twice a week. Uh, but you'll know you'll know airflow gets you know clogged up and when when you need to and when you don't but that's how you do it